Of the 178 members, 171 voted in favor of the draft bill, five rejected it while two abstained. It is a major win for the current president, Mohamed Abdullahi Farmajo. The bill was prepared after a series of countrywide consultative meetings which involved engaging stakeholders on their preferred model for polls. Believed to have been edited to meet certain preference for the current administration, the law could spark another heated national debate among stakeholders. Critic believes that uh, as passed, the law will allow President Mohamed Abdullahi Farmajo to extend his stay in office past December 2020 under prevailing circumstances. For the international community, passing of the electoral law by the lower house is one of the major victories in their consolidated efforts to restore democracy. The draft law now has to be passed by the upper house and signed by the president to become law. It will guide voting in 2020 and the 2021 polls. While the law gives optimism to the Horn of African nation with regard to reverting to popular voting, analysts have warned against an extension of the current term of leaders. At the center of contention is Article 53, which has attracted wide condemnation from among opposition leaders and right groups in Somalia. Should it be impossible for polls to be held as stipulated, the article state the term of parliament and the president shall be extended until elections are done. Although it's much unlikely that the bill will be rejected in the upper house, the opposition team is already crying fall, calling for immediate amendment. They have called for the removal of the article, saying they view as a prosecutor for an extension by the current government under Mohamed Abdullahi Farmajo. The article allows a delay elections if serious events arise, like natural disasters, diseases, droughts, and technical problems, the bill states. Also said to create the controversy in the electoral bill is the adoption of one-man, one-vote model, which is said to replace the clan-based system. The international community has already endorsed the winner-takes-all model despite lack of adequate preparations according to critics. Somalia's stability will be largely defined by the 2020 polls, that is the commitment by the international community. There have been shuttle diplomatic meetings to engage both sides of the political divide. Since taking over in 2017, Farmaggio has struggled to contain simmering and recharged opposition besides facing the Al-Shabaab threat. Yunus Deko, CBA News.